welcome to Kayla's channel. I will love Hey Alphas, welcome. My name is Kayla and today we're gonna check out actually Winter Without You, the first take. Ooh, it's happening. Um, you know, I was manifesting for Winter Without You on the first take and it's happening. I'm nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen. At this point, I don't really know what's gonna happen whenever I listen to a new X release because they just continue to surprise us and they just continue to attack me. So without further ado, let's get started. Actually, winter without you, the first take. Three, two, one, let's go. Look at these fits. Oh, Maya. Oh. Look at you. Oh, look at you. Oh. Duran, is this your stuff? Oh, yeah. What in the Barbie word is this? It's mm. 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 uh, uh, so cute. Check, check. Hi, hi, hi. I'm Oh my god. Nobody else 
else to run to, believing it like it's true That you will come to rescue, I'm Mary miss you, now tell, tell me how How am I supposed to go without you? All right, let's watch that again. Um, don't worry, this is just Diet Coke. Don't ask me why I put Diet Coke in the wine glass. I'm all messed up, okay. <laughs> and I'm wearing pink too. Yes, I, I wore pink to match with them. But look at these outfits. Can we just appreciate every single one of these outfits? Oh my God, how is Oh, so she's wearing pants underneath the skirt. Because I saw that when she was sitting there. I'm so sorry. There are like just so many things to pay attention to. And I don't know why, you know, this version hit me even harder. You know, this raw vocal, I guess, because it's like relatively more raw vocal. You can actually hear, you know, all the layers, all the ad libs and the emotions. <sighs> How am I going to go with that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maya, Maya, Maya. Hinada, 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 Hinada. Kokona, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. Oh my god, Jiren in this hair. Jiren in this hair. Oh my god, and, and Jiren in this hair. When I saw that picture online, I knew I wasn't gonna survive this. You know how hard I cried when I was watching Barbie? First you have Chisa acting with reference to Love Letter. And now you have Chisa singing, oh my god, my voice is gone. And now you have Chisa singing this raw live version dressed up as Barbie, as Barbie. <laughs> I don't know. Am I gonna? Oh my God! Look at you, Harvey. I don't know. Am I gonna make it into twenty twenty four? I need to survive. Okay, I have a war tour to go to. You can't just murder me here on Christmas Eve. Oh my God! Look at you guys. So I guess they they, they recorded this on the same day because I could tell the hair. Um, they made slightly different changes to the hair, but I guess they just uh. Oh my god, look at Dread. I love you so much. I, I don't know how I can love you more, but I just, I love you so much. I feel like I can't love you more, but every day I feel like I just love you more and more. I, I, you can't do this to me. She said, You can't do this to me. Oh, look at Harvey's. Hair piece. Hinata. Can we talk about Hinata? I'm gonna talk about Hinata. Oh. <laughs> Just listen to this raw vocal with a little breathy texture near the end. Oh. She was holding the mic. Oh. I 
this opening from Drea, it just got me. It just got me instantly. Just you can feel the emotions and I don't know, you know, how you can hear her voice more clearly in this version. What in the Ariana Grande is this? What in the Barbie world is this? Uh, but I feel like I've said this so many times. With Chisa and Julia's voices, it just works so well together. Especially when you have Julia's, you know, softer and very sweet, very uh, pleasant voice introducing you into the song. And then you have Chisa's more powerful and um, voice, you know, bringing us up to another level and then you have Hinata oh my god don't make me start talking about how the vocal line of the three of them work so well together Hinata with the ad -libs. she's doing so well she's doing so well you know um if winter without you if this whole song I feel like if it's a cake let's say if it's like a Christmas cake birthday cake whatever cake Chisa and Drea, to me, they would be the body, you know, the foundation, the solid body of this cake, the pound cake, whatever the basis you call it. And Hirana and Maya would be the cream, the filling, you know, that actually add texture to the song and glue everything together. You know, without them, you know, th this whole thing would just be falling apart. And then you have Harvey... Coconut and Durin, they are the icing, the fruit, the sugar, all of this, you know, flavors. They are the one, the toppings that are adding flavors to the cake, to the song. I just, I couldn't, like, how could you find seven people that just work so well with each other? Like, their voices, how their voices work so well with each other without conflicting with each other, right? Like, there's, like, you can't just, you, you can't go without any of them. Like every single one of them is so important and so necessary. It's just like, how? Like I, I'm so just really appreciating the adults here. I can hear everybody's voice. I can hear everybody's voice. Oh, and Kokuna's low voice. I want to hear that hoop. That was hard, you know, adding that little hoop into it. And then, you know, and then she was able to catch her breath and, and just went right back into the Can we just appreciate Maya vocal? I feel like I've said this so many times. And when I was reacting to Winter Without You, uh, the music video and the original song, because initially I heard the song um, without looking at the music video or, or the line distribution, some people were telling me like, it was like it was surprising that you could recognize Maya's voice right away. I, I listened to her part in Left Right so many times. I'm telling you, Maya's vocal, Maya's vocal. and. That little improv she did over there, how 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 she switched the way she did that. Joyful, 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 raise your voice. Everybody come and raise your voice so now. Hey, beautiful, so beautiful. If I remember we will sit by the fire. Why are you getting so close to the mic? You're attacking me. Oh my god, Drin. Oh. <sighs> Sweet smell of sugar and spice for seven simple like the season. I really like this top though. The wind fall with the spring. Yeah, like I said, she's, oh my god, I don't know why, I feel like I'm getting drunk just listening to her part and just looking at her and I'm gonna be drinking some of my Diet Coke from a wine glass pretending I have wine. 
am I gonna get blocked for doing this? I don't know. Hey, I need my water. And I know it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy. Please drink more water, not diet coke. Oh my god! Sorry, Kokona. I just have to. I like how she's like holding. Oh my god, she's just so swag, you know. I love Kokuna's you know, these like little body languages when she was doing this the first take, and you know when she was doing the one for Shooting Star. Again, so so, really oh my god, that was so nice. I mean, I it's probably that, uh, you know, coincident when she when she was saying listen and she was holding her headphone. Or maybe it's not. Maybe she designed that move. I don't really know, but oh my god. No, no, we I feel like I've said this, you know, how much I love Kokuna's hair this way. Ugh. A little trim and the color and, and her official expression and just... I love this line. If I... Okay, I'm pretty sure that was like her body language to go with the lyrics, you know, listen and in my arms again. And she's uh, holding the mic, it just... And Maya, look at her. Oh, and Maya's little... I, lips here. I feel like I'm just gonna keep going back and listen to all the you know, ad libs. Harvey's skirt, so pretty. Oh, Hinata, can we talk about Hinata? Because when I was talking about how Hinata is like the feeling, because Hinata kept talking about how she's the cornerstone of actually, I mean, in terms of she is so important, all right? She is so important. And in this song, she is literally like, you know, the feeling um, in different layers of the cake. That's the feeling that's adding the texture and, you know, gluing different parts of the cake together. She is so important. And you're so pretty, Hinata. So She is like, you know, the middle part because you you can tell some people are clearly, you know, in charge of the higher keys and some people are clearly in charge of the lower keys. And she is like, in this case, she really is the cornerstone, you know, she is there on the middle to kind of coordinate, to soften, but also to strengthen, you know, this whole melody. It's just, I love it. No, I dream. And Drew are just here to murder all of us. Oh my god, did you hear how she said that line? Oh, the way she said undo and then... And then Hinata's ad-lib coming in. There was this... How could they go so well together? I don't understand. Oh. And I think that was... Oh, that was Hinata again. But then, you know, they are all doing... And then, yeah, I think Harvey and, and, and Doreen, they're all... And... Okay, this is the part that I, I, I got wrong when I was listening to... Lee Knight, you know? Okay, I'm not gonna be able to, you know, make that sound. I thought it was Doreen, yeah. It was Maya. Maya, girl. Maya, I'm telling you. Maya. And you see how Hinata was able to do the, all kinds of ad libs, you know? She can be high, she can be low, she can be on the middle. It just, you know. I just like her voice goes so well with everybody else. Everybody else. Yeah. That was so rare. You know how your voice can go so well with. Oh, look. Oh my god, and look where I paused here. My voice is shaking, my body is shaking. Um, I love you. I, I, I love you. Oh my god, and Harvey. I feel like we, we really hear, hear Harvey in, you know, those like relatively lower keys. I hear, oh my god, her ellipse is so, just so perfect. 
um, and I just realized, yeah, I just noticed. I feel like a lot of people have told me that how you were sort of like analyzing every single thing, sometimes over analyzing everybody's part. But whenever it's Chisa, I just go blank. Oh, that's not true. Sometimes This line killed me. This line killed me because I, yeah, I was looking forward to her actually singing, you know, the the way she originally did it. But uh, this one, I, I don't care if it's, you know, they designed this way since it's like a one take and they don't want to be, you know, too risky or it was just like deliberate in you know, the rearrangement. That was beautiful. That was amazing that was breathtaking that was dangerous that just I don't know how many times I'm gonna listen to this level again but I feel like some people, I feel like some people also told me that um, they didn't realize it was Hinata. This line was Hinata when they first listened to it. And that's what I'm saying. Like, Hinata has this like really clear texture in her voice. And when she was singing in you know, a higher key, I feel like it's more obvious. Like it's easier to tell it's her. But at this point, I mean, <sighs> Hinata. Let's just, I, I'm just gonna listen to the whole bridge from Drea one more time. I'm sorry, I just love this version so much. I knew I was gonna love it. I didn't know I was gonna love it this much. It's just, you know, all the layers and textures and my phone is ringing. Um, no, 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 no throwing the phone on the, the floor. We don't need it right now. Uh, Ooh, he's hot in here. So there's a whole thing, you know, starting with Drea just bringing us in and then, you know, Maya's Adlib, Hinata's Adlib, everybody's Adlib. Oh and then, yeah, Kokona's little Adlibs here too. Okay, yeah, yeah, I could definitely hear at least Drea, Harvey, and Coco. Oh my god, I don't know why I tear up when I see Kokona's face. Yeah, because she's, she's still so young, she's still a baby. <laughs> You know, being away from your family. You know, with all the trainings that you go through and then um, being away from your family. <laughs> like I said, I just, this is just connecting to me so personally. And um, I've already seen the, the messages they got from their parents in the in the winter without you behind. It was being good. I watched that, you know, and I, I almost feel like and those almost feel like so personal and I mean I feel grateful that I was able to participate and witness those but I also felt just it just so personal I almost feel like I shouldn't be there and watching these but also at the same time just seeing their parents you know reading the messages they have for their kids um made me realize why the became the people they are today you know the genuine talented the sweet and and just thoughtful person they were because because their parents raised them to be that way um you know when their parents were saying you know i i hope you could get more confidence and then you know try to put others before 
yourself. <sighs> this is just so beautiful. This is just so beautiful. These are the moments that I, and I, I tell myself, oh, I love human, because sometimes I don't. Sometimes I hate everybody. Sometimes I hate everybody. <laughs> Not exactly everybody. Though. Oh, and then Drea was still going. Oh, <laughs> uh, and I paused on this uh, frame of Drea. Oh, she was just staring into her mic the whole time uh, with this hairstyle. I'm just saying, you know, whenever they put Drea and Coconut's voice together, that contrast they create, that emotional. Impact. One other thing I really like is that with with this version, you can clearly see how they were doing the ad libs, how the layers were created. There was not one moment that the song was empty. You know, there's always someone there to support the song. It's either you know, in the background or on the front end. Cause you know, in the recorded version, you know, we hear it. We couldn't really tell, but in this one, I I can't really figure out at least not at this moment that whether they did some special arrangements in terms of their 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 alibs and the chorus. I mean, of course, and aside from all those like little improvs we've just heard, but I'm just saying, there's always someone singing there keeping the song going while the others and I catch a break I wanted to say catch a break but you know prepare for their next part so this is how like a good team works together to create a beautiful song with this amazing amazing flow I said at least there's like two people This part was just, I love how they are taking turns. You know, this part almost killed me when I was listening to it. I mean, just listen to the vocal line, how the three of them could just be so different and so beautiful and just so worked so well together. Where did you find these three people? I don't know. Where did you find them? You hear that like a little low edits, and they ke they kept going with you know the how the vocal line taking turns. Seeing, I need to finish this video up because I'm having a headache again, and I don't have my half your hair. I should have have it ready. Oh. No need to worry Okay, I admit, I'm so sorry, my love. I couldn't, I didn't realize it was you singing this part when I first heard it. And when I saw the line distribution, I lost it again. I just keep losing my... Uh, <laughs> but it was so beautiful. Oh my god, and here you see how the instrumental, you know, the background music uh, slowly faded. Um, very 90s, you know, the the way we ended the song. Oh, I feel like we haven't, you know, listened to how the song ended this way in a long time, you know, slowly fading out. Um, but here, you know, it's almost pure raw vocal. This is pure raw vocal. Are you listening to this? Oh my god. I need it.
Thank you. Thank you all so much for pursuing your dream. And thank you all so much for stepping onto the stage. Thank you all so much for being you and um, being the actually you are today. Thank you all so much for showing up in my life. Oh, Whew. this room is getting hot in here. I'm wearing my pink sweater just to match with the vibe and now I'm getting hot. Ugh. Okay, let me take a break. All right, so that was my reaction to actually Winter Without You, the first take. Uh, like I said, I really appreciate this version. We got to see the raw vocals, the layers, the, the ad-libs, and I really, really love all the little improvs, rearrangements they did for this version. They did an amazing job. They look amazing. Um, everybody plays such an important part in the whole song so i just i'm just so glad that they were able to find each other and they were able to find us and we were able to find them um maybe that's what it's meant to be um i know it's almost holiday season and i know they have a lot of things a lot of projects a lot of work in progress i do hope as much as i hope that they get a chance to um spend some time with their family i hope they got to do that after the showcase I also understand it's you know a really, a really important phase for them and they are still very early in their career so you know it would be understandable if they are gonna try to focus on getting more work done than spending time with their families during I'm just talking about like this one specific Christmas one specific new year um and to be honest, I'm just saying this based on my personal uh, experience. When you're early in the whole thing, you know, when you're just starting out and, you know, you finally finish your training, you know, your career is like boosting and you're still like young, um, spending your holidays away from your family, especially with, you know, people, you know, spending time, you know, you're, 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 your teammates, I mean, they're family to each other um, and they're and know everybody on the team together with them that will help it wouldn't be that difficult right it's relatively less difficult i wouldn't even say it's easier because it's never easy but it would be relatively less difficult to spend the holidays away from your family especially um when we're still young early age at least for me I, I mean the whole thing you know all these emotions didn't start hitting me until i you know, a couple of years later, I'm just, I'm not going to say the exact age. I, at least I hope even if they couldn't spend that much time with their family, I hope they got some time to relax, um, recharge and uh, take care of their own physical health and mental health because they are going to have a very busy year uh, coming ahead for, for them, for them, for alphas, for us. Like I'm taking this time to recharge because I got to get ready for that war tour so thank you my love thank you so much i hope you all can just you know have some time to relax take a break and enjoy yourself and always just enjoy and love what you do that's most important i mean i'm not to worry about them because they always seem like they genuinely enjoy and love what they do and that's the most important factor that's you know not pushing you forward and, and get you through this whole journey without suffering too much. I mean, there's going to be sufferings for sure. Um, but you know that your love and the passion and support for each other will, will get you through this. And I'm really looking forward to what you can achieve in the future. And to wrap it up, Alphas, thank you so much for watching this reaction. I was a total mess. I don't know how I'm going to cut this down. All right, so if I look messy, I look weird, I look stupid in, in any part of this video, I probably look messy throughout the entire video. Um, please forgive me. I, I couldn't control myself. Um, if you made it here, if you finished watching the whole thing, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, please take good care. Um, like actually, we all should be taking good care. Uh, have a great, great holiday season and I'll see you guys next time.